my palm tree print, I just went onto Pinterest and found different images that I liked. Now you guys can print them out and just cut them out as your own stencil, but I decided to freehand them so that way I could really manipulate the size and of course you do not have to do palm tree print i just personally really like it make sure that your outline if you are drawing them is larger than you would want it to be because when you go to cut it out it's going to be smaller plus you need enough room to get your scissors into all of the little nooks and crannies I'm using an acrylic paint. You could also use fabric markers and I purchased these canvas pouches from Target in their $1 section. So very cost effective and the perfect canvas for our bags. I did about two coats of paint just to make sure that everything was filled in nicely. And what you guys can do is if it doesn't fit the whole stencil, you can just do little tiny parts of it. It makes it look really cool and unique. And then I let this dry for a few hours before I went back in and did the outline tracing and added some veins to my leaves. Just wanted to make it a little bit more intricate looking. You guys know that this DIY was supposed to be budget friendly because last year's was pretty intricate and I want to keep it simple. So when we reuse our binders, we can just switch out the cover. So I have these printables available for you guys and you can edit them to customize them. Pretty awesome. Everything's down below. Now who forgets their class schedule? I always did. So what I did was just print out some of those palm prints and then write my schedule in the order that I would have had class. It's nice because you can just take your phone out and it's not super noticeable. Now, if you guys are not super into artistic things, you guys can always get these cool hipster patches and just apply them to all of your school supplies. They have tons of different kinds. I love them. I'm also reusing the stencils on my book covers. I just covered them with paper shopping bags and it just gives it a fun theme that we've got going on here. So I hope you guys liked this video. Check out my other back to school supply hauls and DIYs. I will be posting some note taking videos very soon. So check that out. But as always, I hope you are all doing well and I will see you in the next video.